evening, folks. Uh, we said a bit earlier on this week at the press conference that this would be a very, very exciting and long and difficult fight. This is exactly what we have witnessed today, and I'd like to uh, congratulate both fighters for this exciting uh, fight that they, uh, they showed us uh, tonight. Uh, what a fight that uh, we, have, we have witnessed. I obviously uh, disagree with uh, what my friend here uh, has, has been referring to, but we'll leave that to you for uh, to make your own your own call on that. Uh, this has been a very exciting fight. Unfortunately, Jean Pascal hurt his uh, right hand in the third round, so he had to leave for the hospital to uh, to get that fixed. And um, I would like to introduce the rest of the team here. Uh, first of all, on the far left, Mr. Mark Ramsey, who is the uh, the head coach of uh, Jean Pascal. Greg Leon is manager, as well as Ross Ember working with uh, with the team. So I will leave it as short as that, uh, so that we have time for questions before we leave the stage for uh, the main event of the the evening. So let's proceed with some of your questions, please. Yes, sir. Mark, yes. did Jean uh, express anything to you in that third round? I hurt my hand at any point in the fight. Did he tell you he was hurt? A little bit, but. Jean, Jean is not the kind of guys to complain uh, during a fight. Like it happened with a shoulder before. He did like, uh, two fights with only one hand, and uh, he's not the he's not his uh, his profile, his style to uh, to complain. After the fight, it was clear, especially when we we opened the the tape, the glass, it was clear that was uh, inflammation over there. As as his trainer, um, how did you see his performance tonight? It was a tough fight. Like it was a close fight. It was a tough fight. Uh, we know that Jack can do technically can do better of this. He already did that. Uh, but when you fight a solid fighter like uh, like Gonzalez, sometimes uh, you have to go to war and put everything on the table. And this is what uh, Jean did tonight to win. Thank you. The uh, you know, the popular opinion <coughs> ringside was that uh, Jean had lost the fight in a very good fight. Were any of you able to speak to Jean following the fight, and did he feel he definitely deserved the decision, and was he pleased with how he fought tonight? Actually, the consensus at ringside was he won the fight. Three judges have scored it. Uh, I, you have to excuse me. I meant the ringside press, not the three official ringside judges who did score for Pascal. But what, did any of you uh, have a chance to speak with him afterwards, how was he feeling about the fight? Of course he feels like he won the fight. But was he also pleased with his performance? Sometimes no, fighters... He first hand in the third round, and the fight became more difficult because of the injury, and Jean's not one to make excuses. It was a great fight. I think Uneski Gonzalez elevated his stock tonight, mm -hmm. and I think both guys have bright futures ahead of them. With um, Mr. Ramsey or, or Russ Amber, were you at all surprised by the durability of Uneski Gonzalez? He kept coming forward and did that? That's, that's a great question, and uh, not at all. I'm sorry, I thought I didn't mean to jump in. And not, not at all. And, and this is what's kind of a little, you know, disheartening. You know, this was a, this was a war. These two guys stood in there toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, nobody expected that. They thought maybe if Gonzalez cracks him, that it's going to be over. And he stood there and John went toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy, and this guy got hit and came firing right back. So we knew we were going to be in a war with this guy. I mean, we didn't take it lightly. We, we expected it, and we thought maybe we could surprise him and fire back by going with him toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But, man, this guy's a tough, tough dude, and he's a big guy, man. Like, he was firing, you know, Cuban missiles at us, man. I mean, uh, he was, he, this guy was... A great fighter, man. He fought his ass off because he got hit with some shots and Jean got hit and he fired right back as well. And, you know, I know that it's disheartening for, for them, you know, thinking they won the fight. And, and I respect the job that they did and they, Orlando's got a good fighter there. They fought well. But you guys just saw a fantastic fight. People keep putting boxing down and saying, oh, we're not delivering good fights. Everyone complains about Pacquiao Mayweather didn't live up to what it was. These two guys surpassed what the fight should have been. They went over and above, man. You know, okay, it was a close fight. It could have been 96-94 Gonzalez, and we'd still be saying here, we fought a hell of a fight, and HBO would still be happy that they had a war on their hands right on, on their network. It was a fantastic fight. Guys, I'm sorry if we have to keep you waiting. We're just talking about the best fight tonight. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good way to start. Yeah, 
Yeah, really. Thank you. I, I'm sorry to cut you guys short. I'm sure they'll be here to talk uh, for a little while. If you guys can hang around, uh, Sergey's here now, so we're going to bring him in. And uh, if you don't mind, we want to thank our friends from Richard Box and uh, Chris from Star Boxing, Joe Gordia. Uh, it's a great fight for both of you, and uh, I think both guys uh, come away from this as people we want to see again. It's really what matters. How are you? Thank <laughs> you.